tires in my ride lanes are all shot. So, uh, I can't even make it over to what I thought I would video today. So instead, I'm going to video this road <laughs> on the European bypass. The European bypass is what I call it because it bypasses 280. But uh, the reason why I call it the European bypass, it has a really narrow switchback section. Uh, so, uh, hence the name. I think the real name is like Old Brook Trail. Old something. Yeah. Old Brook Trail. That's the Vestavia Drive ridge line. The high point's just off to the right a little bit. Oh, yeah, you can see the tower. could not believe the trees were all gone. The houses all stood, so that was good, but it was just so sad to see all the, the trees gone. But the, uh, uh, the F4 that hit Tuscaloosa, you know, uh, I mean trees, there's no trees left, no, no houses left, no buildings left, and in several of the destruction paths, just wiped clean. We, uh, uh, funny story. <laughs> funny story. I uh, actually went to class and taught that day. You know, earlier, the tornadoes came through here about six in the morning and I had taken the kids down in the basement, you know, pulled the mattress over on him and the came really close to our house and uh, you know and then I'm leaving to go to work and ride my bike and you know a lot of just a typical thunderstorm damage you know, there's a giant tree down right through this house uh, at the entrance of my neighborhood I mean you could see right into their kitchen the uh, <coughs> I started, I mean, I teared up just thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I had the kids down downstairs 
Anyway, the, uh, uh, and then I went into work on my normal route and no damage at all. I mean, that was pretty much the southern end of the tornado right there. And uh, then I had heard one of my students said, you know, 280 was closed. And I'm like, what? So I came back out here between my 9 o'clock class and my 1 o'clock class. I came back back out here on sort of like a just a damage investigation. I sat on that bridge and saw the I mean 280 was crazy. They had it was one way. They had, they still had one side open and they were taking turns. I mean traffic was backed up for you know four or five miles both directions. The uh, uh anyway so then I went back to school and you know here comes the second tornado the the, the afternoon storm for my my student i wasn't expecting to see any students there they hadn't canceled class but it was just senior seminar i gotta cut it here anyway it was just a senior seminar so i figured my students wouldn't show up you know and they were all there perfect attendance and i'm like what are you people doing here go home there's a tornado coming. So I canceled class and went home and helped guide my wife, who was in Huntsville. You know, she had to drive through the, the Coleman tornadoes. She had to sort of thread her way through. So I was watching the, the radar and the updates kind of guided her through that. Uh, and by that, that point, we had lost power. We, didn't have power since the morning, and uh, the uh, so I had taken the kids over to my my parents' house. They still have power, you know. Here, Christine is driving through this stuff, and you know they've got the live video of the Tuscaloosa tornado, you know, from one of the the weather cams. You know, transformers blowing, and I mean it was really, I mean it was scary for me. And we made a big mistake. Annalise was, you know, we put the, because Tuscaloosa, the normal tornado path is from Tuscaloosa to Birmingham. And, uh, you know, and they, they mentioned that a number of times on the live coverage. And uh, here's Annalise, and she's only six years old. Uh, it traumatized her. She's so scared of tornadoes right now and thunderstorms, you know, two years later. But anyway, we had the kids with the bicycle helmets on, you know, down in the basement there, watching the, the TV. Uh, honestly, just, just thinking about it right now. I mean, it kind of traumatized a lot of people. Uh, I definitely think about it a lot. Uh, just how, how crazy it was the morning one the afternoon one was a huge tornado and did big destruction north of town but it missed us by 10 miles the, uh, the afternoon storm did of course they got the live the live coverage of that too watching that massive tornado it had, it had grown in size by the time it made it here wedge anyway the uh, uh, I was trying to say, but uh, the morning tornado, you know, it had, the sirens had gone off twice, and the first time was for a different part of Jefferson County, and that was about 4.45, 5 o'clock, and I got up, and I, and I saw that, so I went back to sleep, and I didn't wake up the kids, then the sirens went off again, and they're like, I turned on the TV, and they're like, there's a tornado at the Galleria heading towards, uh, you know, then they listed, you know, Rocky Ridge. I mean, it was heading straight for us. So, I mean, I grabbed the kids and, you know, carried Josiah down and hustled them down. And it was real, real quiet and thinking, well, maybe this wasn't, you know, we'll just go back to sleep down here. And then it just got so bad, so quick. I mean, the wind just kept on. Nice. I guess I'm supposed to be on the sidewalk. The, uh, 
the wind just kept on getting higher and higher. I mean, and I, that's when I pulled the mattress on top of us, and I thought it was it. I mean, I thought the tornado was hitting us, but I think it was just, just kind of not quite touched down yet. You know, it was the rotating part of the storm, but it touched down about a mile and a half from our house. And, uh, but it wasn't enough to knock down that one tree through that house, uh, edge of our neighborhood. Anyway, the, the lesson is definitely take those sirens seriously. You know, I mean, I, I doubt there's anybody who doesn't anymore, but, but you do. You hear those sirens, you, you find shelter. Anyway, this is my normal route to get over to the Mountain Brook roller coasters. I can't believe I haven't run out of video yet. Got that whole story in there. I thought for sure I was gonna get cut off. Anyway, up here, this is North Woodridge. Nice 50 mile an hour descent. We got it on video the other day. Uh, but it's uh, kind of flat, hello. It's kind of flat here for a little bit. Uh, by the ridge lines off to the right. I don't know if that'll show up in the video. But this is Dunbarton, it just dives off the ridge line, super steep. Kind of riding along the ridge line here, there's a really good view off that way. Very short, good view though. Uh, where you hit trees. It's a two minute in the truck. Um, the, they sponsored our team for a couple of years, three years. Yeah, moving company. Uh, they sponsored us 2007, 8, and I think part of 9. Oh, hey, little guy. Go home, bud. Go home. Up with that dog, I don't recognize it. Too bad. He was heading towards that sidewalk though, so hopefully that was his home. So here, here's the North Woodridge descent. Yeah, I guess I must have gone up that KOM pretty fast, so I got this much video left. Stop short. 
I didn't recognize that dog either. What's up with that? Uh, this is coming into the uh, Ride the Bowl roller coaster. The, I think it's also called Wood Ridge. That's the name of this road up here, too. South Wood Ridge. I don't, I, I don't know these road names really all that well. I'm going to ride them all the time, but there's so many of them. You gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. The, uh, uh, the road's perfect there. I did come down here once where there was some brush out onto the road. But you, you can see it really well. Avoid it. This is the school. I think they get out at three, but you know, really from 2:30 on, this is all. You gotta be really careful. What time is it? See, it's only 1.45 right now. Sure, ah, oh, it still says 49.9. I didn't get 50 there. I, was, I didn't have enough momentum at the top because I was looking at the, the road sign. Shoot. an hour descent the one way in about 43, 44, coming back if you push it hard. Uh, that, that, that adds up to a lot of elevation gain because you're carrying all that into the hill here. Yeah. And this is actually what I wanted to video, uh, starting here and all the way over, but I, I think I need to head back soon. I got all this on video just the other day too. This is the Mountain Brook roller coasters. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll get this one last roller coaster and then I'll stop it even if even if I haven't run out of tape. 11 minutes for the, maybe 12, no, no, the video's longer than that. I don't get it. I should have run out by video by now. to the right here in a good rain. Get some pretty waterfalls uh, under the road here. 